The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. This is Smokercraft's 1866 Bass and Bay Center console. Now, Smokercraft's well known in the north and northwest as a good fishing rig, but this one's made up to work down south as well. So if you'll join me on board, we're going to see just what they've done with the 1866 Bass and Bay Center console to make it work for you down south. The American Angler Series is designed for fishermen looking for durability, good fishability, and affordability. Everything about the 1866cc Bass and Bay is strictly about endurance performance and putting game into the box. The all-welded aluminum hull and new wood endurance lifetime flooring mean you can go into the roughest rivers and deepest wooded lakes and feel safe and comfortable knowing it can rattle along and bang this all around and it can take abuse today, tomorrow, and for decades to come. We've got 66 inches by 76 inch front deck. That's a lot of room to cast with. If you want to sit like I am today, it allows you to also have a space to put a chair up front as well as in back. Looking at this, I've got about 87 and a half inches by almost 30 inches across. So I've got plenty of room to be working the fish and working rods and reels across the back. It's also quite stable as you can see as I walk around. The boat's not rocking and rolling. That's very important, like in the bass market. By expanding the aft fishing deck, the builder has both covered the batteries and is making good use of the space. The platform is stable because it's on the widest and heaviest part of the boat. This works real well. We can put three rods in a rack above. This is a full length tray, so you can put a lot of things in here, tackle loose items. They put a vinyl cover on top so you don't cut yourself. Underneath the tray, you even have room to store more things. Now, if you're gonna do a lot of fishing, you gotta have a place to put your fish. Right up front, you've got a large fish box, and it does have a spot where you can actually divide the fish box if you want to. Also, if you're doing a lot of fishing, you're also gonna to wanna to do some trolling and they've got a trolling motor spot right here in the corner where you can plug it in. Even under my feet is a significant difference. This is an all composite floor as well as there's a center line fuel tank on this boat. It has the standards, it's got the stainless steel wrap around handhold, it's got vertical rod mounts, but this is fiberglass, it's not metal. I like that a lot. This year this one's got a seat, it's a flip-flop back, it's also a cooler seat. The American Angler 1866 Bass and Bay Center console measures 18 feet length on average with a beam of 7 feet 10 inches. Her hull weighs about 980 pounds and she carries 18 gallons of fuel. She's rated for up to a maximum of 80 horsepower. Last year when I tested this model I compared her to a motorized wakeboard and I still think she's that maneuverable. We registered a top speed last year of just under 30 miles per hour and a comfortable cruising speed of about 18 miles per hour. She reached her top speed in 6.5 seconds and was on plane in only 2.7 seconds. Driving 1866 today, I've noticed a couple of things. One, the seat's much more comfortable to use than it is to stand and drive, particularly if you're gonna drive a long distance, such as long, all the way across Tampa Bay, for instance. The uh, steering was okay. If you're gonna do a lot of driving with it, you might wanna look at adding the hydraulic steering because it's going to make it a little bit less tiresome by the end of a long day. In turns, she turned nice. Once she got into a sharp turn, she slides across the top of the water a bit. So be sure and throttle back a little bit. That's just smart driving. The boat handled quite well. I felt like it was very comfortable, very stable. Never felt like it was out of control.